Ken, happy to say that we won a football game, even though it's preseason. That's what it's all about, finding ways to win. But uh, plenty, of, plenty of things to clean up. There were some bright moments, and I can't wait to see the tape. Great to be back in the Coliseum, I'll say that. Uh, really cool tight. Any Doug, questions? You talked about how you, you want to put the nostalgia thing behind you, but you did get to walk out there in the Coliseum. And you kind of relate what it was like when you went out there for the first time. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. I mean, I saw some recognizable faces that had gotten a little bit older. Um, saw some old friends that they mean a lot to me. And uh, like I said all along, this is a great responsibility. The nostalgia's wore off. We got we to gotta do something with the opportunity. But it was sure great to see the Raider fans. And, and they stayed with us until the end. I really appreciate it. John, you fall right back into the rhythm of running a game, calling the plays, and everything going Yeah, I thought we got off to a great start other than the penalties. I thought... We could have had a, a very good evening had it not been for Marshawn's long run being called back. We had a, a fumbled snap at the five-yard line going in. We can't get set on a quick play to negate their challenge, which cost us more points. Uh, we left a lot out there, uh, I think. Uh, we had a third and one play. We had a man go the wrong way. So, uh, you know, you can't win in this league in the regular season and make mistakes like that. But... Um, there were some good moments. Some guys played well tonight. Well, P.J. Hall comes in on his very first play, gets a sack. I think he bats a pass down. I think he batted down and blocked a lot of kicks in college. He's just a very good inside rusher, and, that, and that's good for him. He missed part of training camp with the pec strain. Maurice Hurst had some good pressures. Uh, I would love to see an Arden Key play tonight, but he didn't go. And... Uh, we're really hopeful one of these days we'll, we'll get Khalil back to fortify everything. But um, good start for our two young guys. What do you think of Connor Cook's play? He seems pretty poor himself. Yeah, I thought he did pretty good. He had a great day the other day against the Lions uh, in Napa. He's had an excellent training camp. He's not turned the ball over. He's shown pretty good command. Uh, there are a couple decisions I just can't wait to talk to him about and get his perspective. But he moved the team, put points on the board. I like the two minute at the end of the half. And um, happy with our kicker. Our young kicker, with uh, the exception of the field, the, the kickoff at the end of the game. Were you trying to have a kick off the dirt for him? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I really was. And I remember when we drafted Janikowski. Uh, it was it was like being on a foreign planet for him when he got here and started kicking off the dirt. So uh, we did manage to get him a, a couple of looks, and that wasn't a short field goal. That was a, a big field goal, a lengthy one indeed at the end of the half. So I had a lot of interaction with both Carr and Cook when they're coming off the field. The way it's going to be, you're just going to talk to quarterbacks throughout? Pretty much. I mean, you know, I'm, right now I'm calling the plays, so trying to get their perspective, trying to make sure we're on the same page. What did they see? What can we go to next? Um, a lot of collaboration involved, obviously. Connor Cook, as you said, he's protected the ball during training camp. That wasn't really the case in the spring. What do you think shifted for him that we're seeing that take care of the football? Well, he's learning a new offense, really. And, you know, I'm sure he wasn't. 100% wired in with where to go with the ball. And Paul Gunther had some pretty creative blitzes and disguises. And, um, you know, some of the interceptions perhaps that you saw weren't all his fault either. So uh, we've, we've improved, no doubt. And uh, he has probably been one of the most improved offensive players so far in camp. How do you think? the right to continue to be the number two guy? Yeah, I don't want to address that today. I think EJ will get more work next week against the Rams. That'll be an interesting preseason game. I, I don't remember playing somebody in week two of the preseason that we open up with. Uh, so that'll be uh, that'll be interesting. But we got a long way to go to solve who's the number two quarterback. How do you think Chris Warren ran today? I like that guy, man. If, if you know anything about him, his dad was one heck of a player at the Seattle Seahawks, Chris Warren. And uh, he's a big back. You don't know it, but he's 253 pounds. He can run four or five. He's a hammer. He can really thump you. And he's got breakaway speed, but uh, he's improving in a passing game. He's becoming more and more of a running back instead of just a, a running, a runner. He's becoming a receiver, blitz pickup. All those uh, little details are improving, but he's got a lot of talent. Speaking of uh, breakaway speed, what did you see from Marshawn on that, on that long run? Yeah, I mean, that was well-blocked play. I was called back. I didn't, I didn't agree with that call at all, honestly, uh, but that was a well-blocked play. and um, That's impressive. That guy was rolling, man. That was good to see. I was really, I was really ticked off though after that he was called back. <laughs> you know, I mean, I just got to the stadium. I just called my fourth play. Uh, 
Anyhow. So you knew you were back the first time you were upset? That's yeah. You realized. Yep. Chucky came out Chuck for a brief well. moment tonight. <laughs> there. Before the game, John, uh, Gary on was out there in uniform running around. getting. Yeah, away. that was great. Gary has got a chance to be back with us on the practice field Monday. And um, I think that, you know, Close to full go too. He's he's really close. He's really healed quickly, and um, my prayers have been answered. We need him. We need him back. We need to get him Arden Key. Uh, we got a number of players that didn't play tonight, so hopefully we can work out Donald Penn tomorrow, and we'll update you on his status as well. But um, a lot of guys didn't play tonight, and we're hoping we get him back soon. What is Arden Key's situation? He has an ankle sprain. We hope to have him next week for the Rams.